Hello, my name is Stephanie Kilgast and I am a contemporary artist. For today's video, I'm going to show you a partial speed sculpting of one of my latest sculpture, which is quite personal. If you've been following me for a while on YouTube or on social medias like Facebook or Instagram, you can check the links to these social medias in the description box below. Well then, you know that I grew engrossed with sculpting colorful nature and biodiversity onto human-made objects and quite often trash like tin cans. I really like to think that I'm creating a possible post-apocalyptic future that is bright and vibrant and happy with a newly found dialogue between humanity and where it comes from, which is nature. And so often I pick objects I like to work on. And sometimes life throws you an opportunity and this plate was one of them. But first a bit of storytelling. I grew up with my mom in Frankfurt in Germany where I was born. I'm French through my mother because the law in Germany is the so-called law of blood, so you inherit the nationality of your mother. Interestingly, if I had been the other way around, so if my mother would have been German and not French, and if I was born in France and not Germany, then I would have been French and not German. Laws can really be quirky and that's kind of fascinating. I actually wanted to work in the law before I wanted to be a judge for kids, but that's another story, I guess. Well, anyway, so as a young adult, my mother fell in love with Acapulco porcelain tableware from Villeroy and Bosch. So she started building up a set and service over the years. She never quite managed to get a complete set because, well, um, Villeroy and Bosch is pretty expensive and also because certain pieces are just pretty useless. I mean, who actually uses a soup tureen? Yeah, and I had to look that one up. It's soupière in French. So as a kid, I would use these plates on a daily basis and I literally loved them. Those vibrant colors, that fun design, a perfect match with me. And I made her promise somehow, I don't recall how, but I managed that she would give these to me as an adult. Of course, over the years she got other plates and we never used only those. Pretty sure she broke one or two along the way as well. But she kept her promise. And when I was ready to move into my first unfurnished flat, which is what, um, probably seven, seven years ago, um, here in Van actually, where I still live, she told me I could get that particular service. So I was so hyped and so happy about it. And I started to bring it back per plane. And there's still some bits and pieces in Berlin. And she also kept a few pieces that she uses a lot. So the service is split between us two. But I have all the plates she had. I have three cups, a coffee pot that I use as a teapot and two bowls. Um, one of them I unfortunately shipped, but which is perfectly fine otherwise, so I can still use it. I also have a butter plate, um, but since I am plant-based at home, I haven't found any use for that one. So if you have any ideas on how to use a lovely porcelain butter plate um, with a bell on top, just let me know. And oh yeah, I also have two cake plates, which I rarely use because I don't bake much cake. Uh, when I do, I usually make cookies or brownies and they don't really fit on that specific cake plate. They are the long cake plates that you put, well, cakes on. And so the service means a lot to me. It, it means a lot because, well, for one, I still love it as much as I did as a kid and I think, in a way, it probably leaves me connected to my inner child. So it's kind of a way for me to don't forget um, my childhood and also just to always be connected to colors and, and fun every morning and every time I use this plate to eat. But more deeply, it also represents my mother. You must know that my mom, I call her maman, so it's the French um, French wording 
for mother and its maman. So she's called Scarlett after Scarlett O'Hara from Gone with the Wind. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Um, so um, Scarlett now is a bit more popular mostly because of the other s famous actor that is uh, Scarlett Johansson. But as a kid it was a really tough name on my mom. I'm not sure why I'm talking about this, but anyway, so she's named Scarlett. I call her Maman. Right now she lives in Berlin. She had quite a difficult um, working life. I'm not going to go into detail, but she ended up living in Berlin. And I of course still live in Van, uh, which is um, really on the western side of France. So uh, between us we have about 1500 kilometers which is a lot and we don't see each other a lot so we may we might see each other maybe twice or three times a year and we will call each other about once a week since i grew up only with her as my parents split when i was three we have a very close relationship and i also have all the admiration in the world for her and and she has been the best mother in all sense She's always been extremely supportive in whatever I wanted to do and to be honest I would not be where I am without her because it is thanks to her that I was in a really great school as a kid. It's also thanks to her that I am the confident person that I am right now and it's also because of her that I don't mind being a woman, that I never felt that being a woman was something different from being a man so I often see fellow friends struggle with um, being a woman in today's society and I never felt it and I never lived it and I think it's because I had this strong role model in my life since she was raising me on her own she would of course work um, and she worked pretty late and I grew independent on a very early age. And so, yeah, she's she's been the world uh, to me for years. And even though we might not see each other as much as um, we would like. And we don't talk daily or something like that. But I think that we, are ha we have a special bond. And I would do everything for her. So... Um, I would never leave her alone and um, yeah she's she's special she's I mean obviously she's my mother but she's when I see the relationships from other to their mom I, I feel like my relationship to my mom is a little bit more stronger she really is the most precious person in my life and to be honest she kept me literally alive in very dark moments when, so when I broke that Acapulco plate last week the first wash of emotions was to be devastated and I was really sad I was crushed I mean I rarely get angry um, so that's not um, things break that's just life but I was really sad to lose that plate. I don't have a lot of those plates. So losing one it really is also practically annoying. But just sad because I love those plates so much. And you cannot buy them new anymore. They stopped making them. So the first wash of emotions was not really fun. But just a few seconds later, after realizing that the plate broke in the, into these four perfect pieces, creativity hit. And, well, why not turn this charged beauty into a sculpture? And there we are, a week later, with a finished sculpture. So, I really hope you enjoy this upcycling, recycling artwork. And maybe it also makes you think about the impact humans have on the environment. Because that's really always at the core of my artistic research. And this is everything I had to tell about this plate, so I really hope you enjoyed this storytelling. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, hit the notification button so you don't miss any new ones, and share with your friends. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!